Hello everyone, Crow here. The reason why I'm making this video is because someone from the comment section asked me why certain tokens drop in value after some time. He wanted me to do a video trying to make sense of what happened and maybe possibly what can they do in order to avoid that. I think I have a pretty good idea of what he's talking about. He's probably talking about Eternal. If you don't know what happened, Eternal, the token of crypto mines, just had a massive drop coming from 816 USD, which is the all time high, down to right now, as of today, 58 USD. This is a huge thing that I thought maybe it would be nice to talk about it as well. And even from the different Discord groups that I have, this is something that we are talking about because a lot of people uh, from that community was affected by it. So I cannot lay out exactly all the reasons why, but I can at least point you to the root of the problem. And that problem is the tokens doesn't really have any... doesn't really have any value outside of the game. So when you get Eternal from Crypto Mines, you can't really buy anything out of it. The only way for you to get to use that token is to trade it into BNB or BUSD. If you remember, when I made a video about Crypto Mines, at that point, Eternal was at 500 USD. And I said, I am scared to get in because this is already at a very high price and to my surprise it didn't go down from that point it actually went up after that so it went to again 812 usd i think what happened there is that really there's a lot of whales who just bought eternal and then a lot of people were like afraid to miss out on it going up so the money just compiled little by little everything eventually going up to 800 but then again the huge flaw is the game in itself is not really that interesting right i mean let's be honest if the game is not play to earn would you play it i don't think so the game is fun because you're earning through it if i give you money you'll be happy same thing with the game the game is giving you money so the game makes you happy but outside of it making you money, it's not fun at all. That's a huge difference. And this is why a lot of NFT games, not just Eternal, a lot of NFT games drop in value, the token I'm talking about, after like two weeks to a month. I may have been off with my prediction with Eternal by about two weeks, but the writing on the wall remains to be there and it's only a matter of time. And lo and behold, it did happen. And I empathize to people who were affected by this. I mean, this is huge money. And I could have been a victim as well. FOMO is really hard to stop. At around 700 mark, I was like, Ooh, man. <laughs> uh, maybe I should buy a little bit just to try it out. But good thing I didn't. You know what they say, the higher you are, the harder you fall. All right, and it did fall hard. Right, uh, hindsight now we know, but uh, while you're at the top, it's hard to see. Like it's hard to see that it's gonna go down. You feel like you're gonna be there forever, and it's gonna go up still. But again, you have to look back. You have to look at the game. Will the game still be enjoyable, even without the play-to-earn mechanic? If no, then check out the art. Is the art good enough? For me to collect it the nft if you answered no both times then you have to be wary i mean there's a lot of nft games coming out and it's easy for people to move on so here's a tip try to get in on the games early because that's when the earnings are really high there's a reason why i make videos about nft games not yet launched it's so that you can get alerted and be aware of games early i give you some information so that you get jump started with your own research and then you can decide before the game launches 
so that you can get in the one to two weeks window where the game is really, really profitable. So that you can get your ROI, sell your NFT for more profit, get out of there before the game starts to crash. And by the way, this is just for the clicker games. If the gameplay is interesting, if it is something that really is enjoyable, you're not just playing it for the play to earn mechanics of it, then that is a different conversation. Chances are those games will last a longer period of time. And it's not just get in, make money, take profit, move on to another game. So, so make sure you don't misunderstand what I am trying to say here. All right, that is all. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you're one of the victims of the drop, don't worry, we'll get him next time. Don't give up because if you give up, then that's the only time that you lose. Of course, you'll need more investment money in order to get back in the game, but don't worry. Just make sure that you learn from this failure and let that propel you to your future success. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I would highly appreciate that and it would be a benefit for you too because you can get ahead of the information before anybody else. Alright, again, this is Crow. I will see you on the next one.